Hello. What's up, replay viewers? How's it going? As people are coming in here, replay viewers, just remember that um, you can still swipe right to share. You can um, tap hearts. Um, those all work as you're coming in. Hey guys, thanks for coming in. Wow, it's like Blaze of Fire, Ethan. I think I saw Gridbook, JD, Kaysen. Hi guys, thank you for those hearts. Those of you who are coming in right now for the incoming hearts. I appreciate that, starting it off. Um, this is going to be a uh, just like a for fun scope, nothing serious. Hi Aiden, how are you? Ronnie, what's going on dude? Good JD, good to see you. Hi Stockton, how are you? I knew Stockton would jump in the room because he's a little bit of a gearhead too, right? Finally got to catch a scope. Yep, wish you could see us too. Uh, yeah, I wish I could see you guys too. Mass FaceTime. <laughs> oh man, that would be so cool. We should do like a Google Hangout sometime because then you can actually see people and talk to them as you're doing it. This is your cousin Ching Yi. <laughs> Hey, Chingy, how's it going? Strings rock too. Rock too. They do. Yeah. Guys, um, those of you who don't know, my cousin Chingy, she teaches at WKU. Um, she's an amazing violinist and also teaches with uh, young musicians and string players. Uh, got married last summer. Was it really last summer? God, it seems like yesterday. Violins are awesome. So give some hearts for Chingy over here, guys. You can find a uh, Chingy, if you could just type in where they can find you online too, all your social media stuff. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a sweetheart. Um, at our dinner meeting, but wanted to say, hey, thanks, Mark. Um, enjoy your dinner, and thanks for checking in. I'll catch up with you later, okay? All right. Okay, so we got some hearts flowing here. We've got 13 people in the room. Thanks for inviting people, Mark, before you leave. WKU.strings.edu. Cool stuff. Yep, so guys, share this, please, with your, your string player friends. Don't forget to swipe right. You can share this with your followers and your social medias on Twitter. What's up, Logic Pro Gamer? Logic Pro Gamer, what is your first name? If you don't mind sharing it, just so that I know who you are. Stockton, thanks for sharing. Name's Drew, thanks for joining. Thank you very much, guys. So if you're a first time viewer, uh, you're just jumping in here. My name's Huey, I'm a musician here in Los Angeles, California. And lately I've just been get, getting on Periscope uh, for about a month now, almost a month. It seems like it's been a year, but it's only been about a month. And I started off by doing some, what's up, Connor? Just by doing some um, snare drum percussion lessons and I think the plan is to eventually start bridging out into some marimba concert snare drum and timpani lessons as well because several of you have asked for those uh, which has been great hey man what's going on let me know what your first name is when you get a chance just so that I can you know break down these walls of technology between us um, and um, just kind of sharing with you guys what I've been working on as musicians uh, yes, rep for violin and percussion. Need mail, thanks for joining. Format lesson, please. The Darden, okay. Well, Darden's asking for it. If we get enough people who are asking for it, I'm going to make this. Got a foam thing for your mic yet? I don't yet, Connor. Um, there's like five other technology things that are coming up in the works, but um, let's just get right into it. So I'm in Los Angeles. For those of you, can you guys just share real quick where you're watching from so we can kind of say hello to each other? And again, those of you who are tapping these hearts over here, I really do appreciate that. Um, I usually do go back and watch the replay afterwards and see who's tapping and that just kind of, because so many people are coming in right now, it's a way for me to kind of target and pay more attention to what's going on here. So I, I do appreciate those of you who are tapping your screen right now. Dallas, Kansas City, Mississippi, <laughs> Temecula, Dallas, Tarpon Springs, Florida. This is so amazing. I still can't get over Colorado, Chandler, Arizona, North Carolina, yeah. Bowling Green, Kentucky, which if you didn't know, fun fact, is the home of the uh, the Corvette factory. There's a great Corvette uh, museum that I went to go see there when I was there for Cheney's wedding last summer. Tupelo, actually home of Elvis. Oh, fun fact, Tupelo. All right, guys. Well, let's just jump into it. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, my handle is at Pan. It's the same thing for all my social media stuff. Uh, <laughs> Carl, where's Carl? <laughs> <laughs> if you were in the scope yesterday and you saw me block Carl, by the way, I did call him after the fact and everything's good afterwards. LT Swagline, what's going on, guys? Hey, LT Swagline, let me know who is running the account for you guys because I'm just curious who the uh, the face is behind the machine. So um, send me a message when you get a chance or if you don't mind just sharing when you're on the scope, that's great too. I did block Carl. Those of you who watched the, the scope yesterday, when you try to block somebody, Luke and Justin, got it. Justin, got it, Justin. Hey, man. So yesterday I was trying to block somebody. There's someone who's just, you know, you always want to give them the benefit of the doubt because they're talking and you're not sure if it's just someone who's not understanding what's happening. But then the comments started getting progressively stranger, like further and further out there. I was like, okay, I think this person is just being a goof. 
So I went to block them. And if you ever have to block somebody on um, Periscope, realize that you have to actually tap a little bit above where their name is because otherwise, you'll as it advances, you'll block the next person. So of all the people that I blocked, I blocked my friend Carl, which is hilarious. And then the funniest part was watching the, the entire room erupt in um, you know dismay because they all love Carl so much. I was like, no, Carl. <laughs> so give some hearts here. Carl's going to watch this replay, I'm sure, when he gets out of work. Uh, give some hearts here for Carl if you're watching and you know Carl. Yeah, Carl. So this is to make you feel better, Carl. You see all these hearts that are floating up. Those are for you, Carl. Okay, let's get into it, guys. If you follow me on Instagram, then I bet you have an idea of what's coming uh, in this Technology Tuesday unboxing right now. Um, uh, how many of you guys follow me on Instagram, at Pan? You can also find me on my website, at HuayuanPan.com, or not at Huayuan, just HuayuanPan.com, Periscope, Twitter, Instagram, things like that. Yep, Ethan, I know you're on there. Kason's on there, Doom. JD, we just hooked up last... Yesterday, found each other and connected. Got some good information coming out towards your way. Stockton, yeah, excellent, guys. All right, and Chingy. Andre, hey, bud. How you doing? Not in rehearsal now, though, are you, right? Hey, when will you upload that snare technique pack? Because I want it real bad. Um, are you talking about the one from the lesson on Sunday? Because that one is already up, unless I did something wrong. Um, if you go to, so what they're asking about is every Sunday I do a lesson at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, which is 7 p.m. Central. So what you want to do, Darn, is that you go to um, the the bio. If you swipe right right now and you tap my name, that first link, it says, and you can do this afterwards too. It says, whyyouinpan.com slash Periscope. It's like, like my Periscope homepage on my website. And there I'll post show notes and all the replays for, you know, like I'll periscope random stuff like this. I may or may not record this and replan this. Um, okay, so I'll mention that in just a second. Let me come back to that. Um, so I don't repost every periscope that I do, just the ones that I think might be valuable for people later. <clears throat> Three gifts for four mallets. Yes, I'll make a note of that. Um, and so for every lesson, what I do is you do the video lesson, if there are things that I wish I'd said during the lesson that I don't say, then I'll post some show notes as like an addendum. And then um, for every lesson I've done so far, I've only done four, but every lesson I've done so far, I've included a free PDF download. So if you haven't checked those out and you want to, there's like an exercise on um, 60 note timing, there's an exercise on Huckadix to help you with your paradiddle diddles. And the one that Darn's asking about is <laughs> this past Sunday, I did a lesson on left hand traditional snare drum technique. So if you're a snare drum and you want to, you know, see how I approach playing left-hand snare drum technique, or if you're starting to play concert, um, marching snare drum and you want to learn how to set up your left hand, <clears throat> there's like a little two-page handout. And uh, actually, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this handout because this, this I made one specifically for this lesson. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got it, uh, I put it together in the style of like an Ikea. If you guys have ever bought furniture from Ikea, what you'll notice is they don't have a lot of text and dense explanations. It's basically just pictures. It's like step one, step two, step three, step four. And I broke it down very simply um, and you can check it out. And then the one thing I also wanna say about that is that if you download those handouts and they're helpful, please leave me a comment on that page because that way I'll know if it's working or not. And feel free to copy those handouts and share them with your friends. I mean, heck, print them out for your whole drum line at your school. You know, the idea is that we're just sharing information and knowledge out there so that we can help people who may not have access to help and also elevate just the level of our percussion community and what we're doing. Okay? It's there. I've been looking for it, for it every little bit. Sorry. No problem. It gives us a good reason to talk about it, guys. So check that out. If you can't find it, let me know. Um, <laughs> thanks, Ching. I appreciate that. Um, I have to go practice. <laughs> And let this be a lesson to all the students who are watching right now. Chingy is already an amazing violinist, and she has to go practice. So even when you reach the top, top, top of the game, you're still practicing. So all right, bye, Chingy. Thanks for jumping on the scope. Let's let me um, give you a call soon. We'll catch up. Okay. Have a good practice session. See you later. Everyone, give some outgoing hearts for Chingy, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, maybe we should have Chingy come do a guest scope at some point. Okay. Uh, Okay, where was I? Let's let's save some announcement stuff at the end of the scope. So make sure you watch till the end of this because there's a couple um, additions that I that I made today to the website and for Periscope, and there's also like a big announcement that I want to 
start teasing for you guys that's going to come later at the end of this week. Okay, so those of you who are following me on Instagram, thank you very much. You probably have an idea of what I'm about to unbox. If you aren't following me on Instagram, uh, you got to get with it, okay? At Hui Yuan Pan, at H-U-E-I-Y-U-A-N-P-A-N. And you can find me on my website too. But today, this is what we're unboxing. <clears throat> Any ideas? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Anybody? What do you guys think? Metronome? <laughs> a grid book? Maybe. It's a little small to be a grid book. True grid book. Tiny grid book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, guys. Well, okay. what is it? Three, two, one. Ba bam. Yep. <laughs> iPhone 6 Plus. There it is, guys. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. I have been using the same iPhone probably for like three or four years now. And I, I just couldn't bring myself to. You know, sometimes I want to. I always want to make sure that I'm not impulse buying, or uh, like being frivolous about about getting this kind of stuff. Yeah. Mention that now. I mean, put that under the universe and let Mark know if that's something that you guys are interested in doing. Um, <clears throat> but I always want to make sure that I'm not. Uh, yeah, you got it, Connor. Now you're figuring it out. I want to make sure that I'm not being frivolous when I'm buying stuff. And the litmus test that I always use is I'll ask my wife and I'll say, look, you know, this is what I'm thinking. What do you think about this? This is for <clears throat> purchases that I make. This is when I write music. Like I'll write something and I'll play it for her. I'll be like, what do you think about this? And if she's like, she'll never tell me it sounds good if it doesn't sound good. She's like, oh, this part doesn't make sense. I was like, okay. And she's usually my litmus test for me. And it's the same thing for when I'm buying technology stuff. And so last night, you know, I've been having this problem with my phone lately where even if I have it charged up, Probably it's because I've been just using it so much for social media stuff, and also the connection on the chargers just isn't great. It's kind of at the end of its lifeline here. So last night, I was working, if you jumped in the scope last night, I was working at the mall. I'm sitting there, and my phone's actually like acting kind of weird. And so I texted her, I was like, hey, I'm thinking about maybe getting a new phone. What do you think? Should I just, maybe I should hold off a little bit longer? <clears throat> And, and she's like, no, these are the reasons why it might be a good idea for you to get a new phone. And I was like, okay, well, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> so stop by the iPhone. Uh, Vinny from the Apple Store uh, in um, West L.A. was very helpful and got me set up. And then the big question was uh, how many gigs, right? The question was do I get a 6S or do I get a 6 Plus? And I ended up going with the 6 Plus, which for you Apple heads, you know that it just means it's bigger. <laughs> bigger, longer battery life. And this is the 128 gigabyte one. Kason, yeah. Oh, we're six plus buddies now. Okay. Um, my reservation for the six plus was I'm worried that it's going to be too big and that doesn't fit my pocket. And the reason that I like the <coughs> like the 5s was because it's actually like the perfect size. You can do it with one hand. Good for looking at snare licks. Yep, and playing. Uh, typing with one hand, I was worried that this would be, this is too big. Um, <clears throat> my little brother came to visit a few weeks ago, and he's got a 6 Plus also, and he's like, dude, you gotta get the Plus. The battery life is amazing, and once you start using it, and you look at the 5S, you'll be like, how did I even use that thing? So, you know, figured I'll try it. Um, 128 gigabytes, just so that I don't run out. I do shoot videos and such, and let's see what it looks like. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, first layer is off. iPhone success. And here we go. Drum roll, please. Does, does anyone play the drums in the room? <laughs> Do we have a drummer in the room? <laughs> Thanks for uh, the hearts, guys, that are coming out. What are drums? No, not me.
Yeah, seriously, roll on the hearts. Two finger tap, double stroke roll. And uh, man, I wish I had, oh, so I traded in my old phone. Otherwise I would compare and show you guys the size difference. But if you trade in your old phone when you do the, the Apple bit, they actually give you a $200 credit, which I was, I was like, are you sure? Because I beat the crap out of that phone. And I was shocked that they gave me the $200 credit. And I was like, okay, let's, let's, uh, I, I was like moving the transaction along quicker. So before they realized that the phone was not worth $200, um, <clears throat> I always have this discussion with my friends where, um, oh my God, <laughs> this thing is so thin and it just, it just looks so sleek. Um, I always have this discussion with my friends where they get cases for their phones and they're like, oh, well, I'm afraid I'll drop it and, and things like that. And my thing is, you know, like the iPhone is the Ferrari of a smartphone. And then if you bought a Ferrari, I mean, would you put this gigantic piece of rubber around your Ferrari and no one would get to see how slick and beautiful it looks? Dude, get a case. I bet my phone 6 Plus. Oh, was that in your pocket that you bent it, Kaysen? What state are you in? I'm in California, Los Angeles. <clears throat> in case I want to hear more about that uh, to let me know. But I, I just, you know, it seems like a shame that they spend all this time designing this beautiful phone and then you cover it up. I yeah, bet my iPhone 6, you bent it. What about a clear case? Maybe. I might be open to a clear case. Move to California if Trump wins. JB drums. JB, let's talk about something else. Yeah, like a ram to a wall, long story. <laughs> okay, clear case, it works fine. Then small battery, battery, bad battery life. Aiden, like bad. Okay, um, Kaysen, was it in your pocket? And that's why you, um, <coughs> you bent your phone? Guys, um, <laughs> I appreciate the talk about Trump, but we're not talking about that right now. If you keep talking about Trump, then we're gonna, we'll get sidetracked here, then we'll have to boot you from the room, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it was in your pocket. Oh, okay. Well, um, that is a consideration I definitely will take about. Okay, before we open this, s -mom aluminum is supposed to be stronger than normal six to prevent that bending. Okay, that's good to know, Drew. Thank you for adding that one. With an OtterBox Defender Case Day 1, it sucks to cover foam, but worth it. Uh, OtterBox, I'm not familiar with that, but I will check that out. Thanks for um, mentioning that. <clears throat> okay, let's look inside what else the accessories come with, uh, what other accessories come with it. So, you know, Apple Box is always too sexy. Ooh, no OtterBox to big man. Okay, so we got this. And here are the accessories. So, you can never have enough of these um, lightning cables, right? And then you got your standard USB to port charger. And then you got some headphones with the microphone. These are good if you need them in a pinch. Um, I usually use my, my Bose headphones with the mic on it. <clears throat> One design I do like, have you seen those like bamboo phone covers? It's like a natural wood finish. Case and you're talking about Beetle. I, I do like the way those look. I'll send you a case by just emailing them and pick up your old case, which is dope. Hmm. You have a point. I have an anchor case. Oh, I didn't know anchor made cases. What kind of Bose headphones? You know, they're like the in-ear headphones, not the noise-canceling ones, but the ones that also have the microphone. I do all my business calls on those phones. So the mistake. It's cool. D brands love the wooden ones. Yeah. If you guys know of a good wooden one, I I would be open to having a wooden case on my phone because I, I like the look of wood. You know. Beetle percussion style, right? Oh. I should talk to Beetle Percussion and see if they'd be into making a Beetle iPhone case. What do you guys think about that? If Beetle Percussion made an iPhone 6, 6S Beetle iPhone case, would you guys get one of those? Yep, JD, JB Drums, Stockton, Rudimental, DB Skins, okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> Heshley. <laughs> okay, so guys, put it out into the universe there. <laughs> Tell Beetle Percussion that Way has requested an iPhone, a Beetle iPhone case for his new 6S. <clears throat> All right, let's get to it. Let's see what we got. Plastics coming off. Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, as my wife likes to say. Excellent. How much would you guys pay for a Beetle, uh, a Beetle iPhone case? 2016. Side. Let's say they did it a limited edition run of like a hundred cases. How many would you guys? How much would you guys be willing to pay for something like that? Twenty-five dollars? Are you serious, man? Come on, those are handmade. They're each handmade. 
50. Guys, the pad is $60 in itself, right? I mean, 40 bucks, 50 bucks tops? Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's check it out. All right, you guys ready? Let's turn this baby on. Whoa. Inception. Phone inside the phone. Reflection inside the phone. Can you see how many phones can you see in there? <laughs> Those of you who are still tapping the house, I appreciate it guys. Okay. This said, hello. Mine blown. Hello. Slide to set up. Let's slide. And I will choose English. Oop. Select your country or region. I'm in the United States. Choose a Wi Fi network. I will choose my home Wi Fi network. Type in my password. <clears throat> Connected. Password. Password one two three four. It may take a few minutes to activate your phone. Yep, it's the plus. New phone. Who dis? <laughs> okay. Um, that is hilarious. I have a quick story to tell. So over winter break, um, I was hanging out. We were hanging out at my. At my um, my wife's in-laws place and my me and my sister-in-law she doesn't watch this I don't think but my wife is probably gonna tell her that I told the story and so it'll be funny so my sister-in-law and I got into like a little brotherly sister tiff over something silly like we were just like debating and it got a little heated a little more heated than expected and then like as we were debating back and forth I realized that she was actually getting upset and um, and then she and they left like her and her husband left and afterwards I was like oh you know I think Anne was actually getting mad even though we were just having a friendly debate and I felt bad I was like oh I want to call her and let her know that you know I didn't mean anything by it and, and my sister was like well maybe just give her some time maybe just send her a text and I was like okay so I texted her and I was like hey you know I'm sorry that you got a little heated if, if you felt bad and you know I just want to let you know that I didn't mean for you to feel bad and then I sat there and I waited and I was waiting and then it said, the text I got back was, new phone, who dis? And at first I was like, um, because I wrote like a very heartfelt apology and then she immediately texted back, just kidding, it's okay. <laughs> and I just thought that was the funniest thing in the world and it immediately broke the tension, tension broken, yeah, very good. Okay. So if you ever get into a tiff with your friends, just type, new phone, who dis? Just finished tonight's school. Okay, let's see if it's done setting up. <laughs> location services, I will enable the location services. I'm gonna set up my touch ID now. So, you know, this is the part, if you guys have never seen this before, this is the part where you um, touch your thumb, adjust your grip, continue. What was the same about, about Beetle before my phone died? Oh, I was just saying that, um, you know, okay, sweet, continue, complete, that was easy. Six digits. I was just saying that um, I've never put a case on my phone. I think my very first iPhone, I put a case on it. And then um, I realized that I like the design of the phone and I like being able to see it. Must from a seven new phone restore from iTunes backup. Okay, connect. Since you have a new phone, I can you you I can you give you my number again. Rudimental. I think I should be able to import it, MJM. <clears throat> but um, if you want to message it to me, to own Android. Oh, you're sharing a pickup line. Uh, I'm married, MJM. Sorry to disappoint. iTunes. Okay, so I'm opening up my iTunes now. 
iPhone 5 can be used because it requires a registration. Would you like to download this version of iTunes now? Okay, yeah, so I'm going to download this updating. Also, just updating in general. Okay, this will take a second, guys. So, um, what else is going on today? Today was like hunker down and get work done mode. You start. Uh, maybe I'll make some announcements. So the things that I worked on today, guys, was uh, a few of you jumped in <laughs> the scope this past weekend. <coughs> I'm literally like, I'm, I'm praying seven days out from getting ready this this scope. Go on to drumline practice. I'll show them your re replay. Thanks, Connor. See you later, man. Um, <clears throat> those of you who were hanging out this weekend, you caught the scopes with me and Carl. We went to the SCPA shows in Monrovia, which is a SoCal percussion drumline circuit. Caught some cool videos there, and I chose to keep three of them. The first one is when we arrive there, and I just kind of show what we're doing. The second one is uh, an interview, like a mini interview. I ran into my buddy Joey, who's the bass tech for Pulse, and he was talking about what he was working on. And interesting stories. Joey went to school to be an accountant, and then after he finished, he realized, you know, I actually don't want to be an accountant. Uh, I want to be a teacher. So he's working on his teaching credential right now. And we had a nice little chat. And so we jumped on scope just so that you guys could meet Joey. Uh, don't know yet <clears throat> about the prelims, if I'm going to go. And um, the third one was uh, Chino Hills High School doing their warm up before they went on the show. Uh, I've seen videos of Chino Hills, and I think I saw them at WGI Finals a couple years ago. But this is the first time I've seen them live in California. They were amazing, like so good. Not just because the playing was good and the music was great, but the thing that blew me away about those kids was they were performing at such a mature level, meaning it wasn't just about playing the right notes, but they were playing so musically and expressively. And when you, when you watch their faces, they just looked like they were having such a good time. Like they were actually enjoying the performance and being in the moment. Which is something like that's even tough for veteran players. You know, a lot of times I see DCI players, WGI players, and it's hard for them to get out of their shells, and they forget that WGI and indoor is very much more about the theatrical and drama of, of performing, and it's not just about playing clean and looking like a robot. John Mapes and Ian Grom, yeah, they put out a lot of great stuff, which is solid. Um, true performers. What else? Oh, so Carl filmed the video. He's got some lot footage of Pulse, Pal, and Chino on his YouTube channel. If you haven't checked Carl out, you should look up Carl Drum Tech, and he's got a video. And we do like a little intro and outro interview together on that. <coughs> and I posted those three videos that I talked about on my YouTube page. And also, for those of you who missed the lesson this past Sunday, um, the lesson on left-hand traditional. I just uploaded that video today as well. You can find that on my Periscope page, williampan.com slash Periscope, or you can go to my YouTube page and you'll see all those videos listed there. There's like a, a Periscope playlist that you can go through and just catch up on what's going on with that. Yeah, so <clears throat> I think this is going to take a little while, guys, because it's having to update iTunes and install some software, so it's taking a little bit of a while. Um, well, I'll just let that work for a little bit on its own. What's your YT? I don't know what YT is. Can you clarify for me? And those of you who are still tapping here, you are awesome. Like I said, guys, I, I do go back. Oh, YouTube. I do go back and um, watch the replays and then look at who's participating. So those of you who are tapping around, I do appreciate that. YouTube. <clears throat> if you just search my name, H-U-E-I hyphen Y-U-A-N pan, P-A-N. Uh, it should pop up. Links for all that are on my website also, hoyunpan.com. You can type it without the hyphen. I think it goes through also. <clears throat> um, so this has been pretty cool too. The last month now, a lot of questions have been coming through Instagram, which is the main account that I was spending most of my time on was Instagram the past month. Uh, I just passed 1,000 um, followers maybe a week ago. Wow, that seems like such a long time ago. And I did a short scope about that to say that even though a thousand is a relatively small number compared to many counts, so you see they have like ten thousand or fifteen thousand, fifty thousand. <clears throat> For me, before I got on Instagram, I was not a big social media guy. Um, 
And it was only after I got on Instagram that I started talking to people. I would have these conversations with people from all over the world, and I was just blown away by how meaningful some of the connections I've made. Airplane. Um, a lot of the meaningful conversations. I mean, for example, Carl Drumtech. We met over Instagram, and he's like, hey, man, I'm a local guy. Local guy, do you want to get together? And now we're actually friends in real life. Uh, Mark from The Grid Book. We started watching each other's scopes, hooked up um, direct message over Instagram, and now we talk on a weekly basis. So, um, what's up, Mark? What's up, Carl? If you guys are watching the replay right now. So, the thousand people on Instagram, <coughs> it's not so much to say like, wow, I have a thousand followers. Uh, for me, it's like a benchmark and it's a reminder of all the meaningful conversations that I've had with people. I mean, just last night, JD, if you're still watching, uh, met JD after the scope and we had a nice little chat and JD had some great questions that I wanted to answer for him. I'll do a scope over it as well. This is the first time I saw you, I was like, oh, hey, this guy follows me and he drums solid. Yep, JD, yep, <laughs> still in the room. <coughs> So Instagram has just been a really cool place to, to share content and meet people who are also into music, percussion, etc, etc, etc. So that's been awesome. Um, I can see that this is updating here. It's coming close. I'm trying to think if I should announce. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait to announce something that's happening at the end of this week. And it'll probably actually activate at the beginning of next week. But those of you who are following me on Instagram and Periscope, you're going to be the first ones to hear about it, and it's going to be good for you to hear about it first. But, <clears throat> guys, it's so exciting, it, and it's it's like, it's killing me. You know the way you feel uh, Christmas morning, and you can't wait to open your presents, and you're like 9 or 10 years old? I feel like that with what I want to tell you guys about. And there's actually something else that's happening this afternoon that's an anticipation for next week. So what are we unboxing? <laughs> Sorry, bro. Bro, you missed the unboxing. Right? We, we unbox this. It's an iPhone 6S. Um, and I'm just waiting for it to upload. You can see that my computer's almost there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's working out so far. Ah, there's the sound we want to hear. Let's come back on. Ooh, just bought some solos. <clears throat> what solos did you get, Stockton? And guys, I like, like those of you who are tapping right now, I, I really do appreciate that. Just that, so you guys know, I, I appreciate that very much. In this lesson, we will cause drum. In this lesson, will we drum just because asking I have to do homework? Uh, we won't watch a game player. This is just like a for fun unboxing video. We're not going to drum. But I will let you know when the next drumming happens. Okay, I have the iPhone 6. I wait till the iPhone 7 comes out. And I'm great. Sorry, I missed that last comment. If you want to send it back through. Um, <clears throat> the guy at the Apple Store told me yesterday that I think on the 21st of this month, there's an Apple announcement. Yeah. Nobody knows what the announcement's going to be. Um, thanks for checking it out, though, bud. And um, find me on Instagram, or let's let's connect, and because I know we've been checking each other's stuff out a little bit more here and there. So find me on Instagram, okay? Um, <clears throat> and he said, if you're not in a big rush to get a phone, which I was in a rush, and he's like, you can wait until the 21st. I said, well, is anything going to change with the 6 or the 6 Plus? He's like, no, definitely not. It's probably going to be with the 5. It's like an update on the 5S. Supposedly that rumors, he says no one knows for sure, but the rumors are that they are going to like maybe speed up the 5, so it's just as fast and powerful as the 6, but smaller. Hey, I'm about to head out and get some stuff. I meant to tell you something, but I'll hit you up on Instagram. Yeah, that sounds great, Case, and thanks for letting me know. Cricket Sang said the song on White Knuckle Stroll. Yeah, um, Stockton, Cricket Sang, that's Blake Tyson, right? Beautiful piece. That's like one of my go-to pieces that I signed for my high school students. And of course, you probably bought it from his website. Amazing composer, amazing player. He's got a great video of himself performing that piece also. I7 probably come this fall, so I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Okay, welcome, iCloud later. <clears throat> Continue. I'm just setting up the stuff, guys. It's pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> guys, I'm feeling some serious love from these hearts. I, I really do appreciate it. The 30 of eight, 38 of you who are still in the room right now, hanging out with me as I do this, awesome. Agree. Terms and conditions. Setting up account. Account. 
Um, also today, guys, I, I added two things to the website. Yesterday, I added a blog post. So many... Uh, approved from another stuff later. <clears throat> so many um, questions have been coming through uh, Instagram the last the past few months. I set up uh, two forms on my website. One, uh, several great questions have come in. For example, um, Heshley asked about 2002 Cavaliers when I mentioned that the other day in the scope and he had asked some questions about marching drum corps. Great questions and it would be much easier for me to answer it over a video than to type it. Last night, JD asked me about auditioning for music schools. He's looking at perhaps auditioning uh, at North Texas um, to study percussion. Also, great answers that I could give very easily over video rather than through Instagram on the phone. So this is all to say that if you have questions that I can help you answer, I don't want to miss them as they're coming through direct message and Instagram because it's just constant, constantly incoming right now, which is very flattering. But if you go to my website and you say hoyanpan.com slash askhuey, A-S-K, hui is spelled H-U-E-I, askhuey, there's a form there that you can input your information and input your question. And it goes into this big spreadsheet just so that I can track all of them and then at a glance I can say like, okay, this is the question from so-and-so, I answered it or I didn't answer it. I just want to make sure that I respect your questions and let you guys know that I, I do take them seriously. I want to help if I can. What I'm to the leather case I made for your iPhone and I... Uh, it's in the room. <coughs> Welcome to photos. Okay, let's update this guy. Try again. To connect to iTunes. Connect it to iTunes. And now I'm going to back up. Ask a way. Ask a way. Darn. Darunch. Any drummers in the room? Restore from this backup. Continue. I agree. I continue. Updating. We're getting closer, guys. Almost there. It's 6 o'clock over here. Today has been nonstop work day. And as soon as this gets done here in two minutes, um, I'm going to be signing off, guys, and it's going to be time to eat dinner and check into family time. So uh, if you guys have any questions for me, if you have any outgoing hearts, I know, MJM, this is going longer than it takes. I appreciate you hanging out for this long, though. Um, if you have any outgoing hearts or outgoing questions for me, now would be a good time to ask them, guys. And uh, I do want to say thanks again for jumping in the scope and spending your Tuesday evening with me. Um, I sub subscribe to YouTube, and I'm going to watch all the lessons. Yes! Logic, you're the man. I appreciate that. Thanks for jumping in. There's some good content. On that note, if you are watching these lessons, these the Periscope lessons, and you have an idea for a lesson that you'd like me to cover, if you go to my Periscope page, which is hoyanpan.com slash Periscope, um, not only will you see the playlist with all the Periscope replays, but at the bottom there's a Google form similar to Ask Hway where you can input a topic of what you're working on or what you're having trouble with, and you're, you can ask me if I can do a lesson on it. Because those Sunday lesson guys, I mean like an hour is actually very short. Originally I was going to do 30 minute formats, but what I'm finding out is that there are so many questions and so many people asking for specific things, which is awesome. It means that there's actually some value that I can pro provide. Triple laterals, Stockton. Okay. Um, will you put that in the form for me, Stockton? I mean, I'll try to remember it, but I'm getting old. Uh, <laughs> and stuff floats out of my head pretty quickly. If you send it to me, yeah, thanks Stockton, then I'll definitely add that to the list. And the main purpose is, guys, when I look at that list, let's say there's 30 topics I get in one day, <coughs> I'll choose like three or four that I can weave together into one lesson, um, and it creates a very nice flow and story, and so I can help people. There are people who watch lessons who are like beginner beginners, and there are people who have been playing for a while also. And I just want to make sure that I hit lessons. I might introduce a beginning concept that might reinforce some of the things that these guys already know, <laughs> but I also throw in two or three advanced concepts for these guys to keep working on so that we're providing value and the main thing for these Sunday lessons guys and I think some of you have noticed this too is that we see some repeat participants and we start to meet each other and you see each other and you guys start following each other and see each other on Instagram another like big drive of mine from these Sunday lessons is to just start supporting creating facilitating joining adding value to the percussion community which is you know a group of people that I really identify with and want to help I've just kind of reached this stage of my 
my path where I, I found that um, this is something that I'm really interested in doing and helping people who may not have access to percussion teachers depending on where you live or maybe lessons are expensive, etc. So Sundays, free lessons, that's um, what I'm doing with you guys. Like I said, Stockton, we're going to start doing some marimba lessons too. How many more of these screens am I going to get? It's getting, you can't see it, but there's like a loading bar. Thinking about playing a duet, I don't know whether it's going to or two plus one. What kind of duet? Uh, Multi-percussion duet or mallet duet? <laughs> you know who's been putting a lot of really cool duets out lately is Ivan Trevino. He's got a lot of um, cool marimba duets, if you guys want to check some of his stuff out too. Mallet Andre, yeah, check out uh, Ivan Trevino. <laughs> You should get some, like two more people together, Andre, and do some um, ragtime music too. Did you take a fan out? I saw that on your Instagram. I did, JD. Uh, 2013 and 2014. Um, 13, Shane Gwaltney was arranging, and I came in and text snares and was co-captioned uh, with my buddy Nick, co-captioned head for the percussion section. Yeah, both are arranged by Ivan. And then I um, came back in 14, Brett Kuhn was arranging, and I checked the snare line and was co-captioned that year as well. Um, yeah, strive to be happy is beautiful. I don't know that piece, actually. I, I will check that out. Thanks for the recommendation. If you guys know of Ivan Trevino or you know of uh, those pieces, give Ivan some hearts over here, guys. Great resource for my students. It's good to learn and hear the same concepts from different people. Yeah, MJM, it always is a reminder for me when you know you say something to your students a thousand times. Uh, trust this computer. Update it complete. Update complete. Success, guys. We did it. I almost updated successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow, and then you're done. See, they're, 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 they know that you're running short on patience, so that they're just uh, keeping you in here. We're almost there. Um, well, I was, what I was saying, MJM, was I always love it when I, you know, you tell your students the same thing every day. It's like you're a broken record, and you're just reinforced. Like, make sure you're using your wrist, smooth, relaxed motion, straight up and down. There you go, smooth motion, straight up. Nope, you're a little stiff. There you go, smooth motion, straight up and down. And you say it like a thousand times, and then you bring in one guest clinician and say, hey guys, did you know that when you use your wrist to motivate the stick, you have more control and you can get more speed, and you make sure the stick's going straight up and down in a smooth motion? And they go, oh, smooth motion. Okay, I should look for a smooth motion. And you're like, ah, I've been saying that for the last two years. Um, but it's all reinforcing, right? And I do know what you mean where when you say that when one person says what you've been saying, they reinforce what you've been saying. It's, um, it's a big help. Okay, I'm going to add this card stuff later, set up later in Wallet. Set up iCloud, use iCloud security code. To set up iCloud keychain, this one, approve it from one of your other devices using iCloud keychain or using it. Approve from other device. Approve as you can, uh, from one of your other devices or iCloud keychain. Okay. <sighs> set up Siri. There's some, I want to just turn this on and have it work. Say, Hey Siri, into the iPhone. Hey Siri, that's pretty cool. Hey Siri, hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. Hey Siri is ready. Siri will recognize your voice whenever you say, Hey Siri, tap continue to finish setting up your iPhone. That's pretty cool. <sighs> Choose how you would like to view iPhone. Zoom shows larger text and control. Standard fits more on the screen. You can change it any time. Okay, I'm going to do standard. Standard, okay. We're almost there, guys. Welcome to iPhone. Get started. All right, guys, and we are in. And it's going to ask for all my, uh, ask for all my, um, you know what I'm kind of annoyed about as I'm looking at this, though? It doesn't have the apps that should be on my phone. I don't know what's up with that, but I'll figure that out after we sign up the scope, guys. Okay? All right. Any outgoing questions, guys? <clears throat> if not, uh, go ahead and find me online 
If you're not following me on Instagram, feel free to. Uh, going hard, so you can find me here. That's me. You can find me on Periscope, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And got to sync, MJM. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to try that after we do this. Stockton, thanks for jumping on. See you guys later. Big announcement coming at the end of this week, if not early next week. I'll let you guys know what's going on. Uh, there is a package arriving today, though, that's part of it. And I'm going to go downstairs right now to check and see if it's still there. So um, I want to wish everyone a happy Tuesday. Thanks again for jumping in on the scope, guys. Thank you for these outgoing hearts. You guys are awesome. Find me, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.